from the balanced equation that is not about the physical states and not that so what in more extra information we will get from a balanced equation so we will first mainly get the details about the reactant and products so we can know by seeing the equation we can say what are reactants and what are products and also we can also say the ratio of molecules of reactants and products that means ratio of molecules that means in a molecule suppose if you take h2o so here hydrogens are two and oxygen is one so this is nothing but what it is a ratio for oxygen for one oxygen atom we will add two hydrogen atoms so this is the ratio so this is we can find out the ratio of molecules of reactants and products and also we can find the relative masses why why we can find relative masses is because the masses are expressed in unified mass so unified mass is the unit to represent a formula so but when we know the unified mass you can find the relative masses next if we express in grams that means in a chemical equation so when we want suppose if i am using this much quantity of chemical so i am reacting with another chemical so what will be the product form is it clear so if i express the uh, if i express the units in grams then molar ratios of reactants and products can also be found out next if gases are evolved so if gases are evolved i can find that means see if gases are there it does not have specific volume is it clear so i will convert the volume into mass is it clear and then i can find molar mass and volume at standard temperature and pressure and next is using molar mass and avogadro's number i can find out the number of molecules and atoms calculated in the molecules that means number of atoms in a chemical formula so these all i can get from the chemical equation an equation can give the information about the relative masses of products and reactants so i can represent it as mass mass relationship volume volume relationship mass volume relationship and also mass volume and number of molecules relationship so now we will see what it is the relationships mean now we will see about the relationships so if from an equation i can find out the relative masses of molecules and atoms so in this mass mass relationship in this i will relate the mass of reactants to the mass of products and here mass volume relationship how i can relate mass to the volume next here it is volume volume relationship and here it is mass volume number of molecules that means how can i calculate these all from a equation we will see with an examples we will see an example for this so now it is aluminium reacting with iron oxide gives us aluminium peroxide and iron is it clear so now is it first when we need to find out the masses of this so first we need to check it is it a balanced equation or not so in the last class we have discussed how to balance the equations now if you have not if you don't know how to balance a equation i will give the link in the i button please watch it there so now here it is al here it is al2 so i will keep two over here so al al balance next fe2 o3 so here fe is only one here it is two so i will add two over here so now o3 o3 so it is a balanced equation so now already we have given the atomic masses of each and every element so now how to write so it is 2 al plus fe2 o3 gives rise to al2 o3 plus f e 2 f e is it clear so this is the balanced equation we get now so 2 into aluminium atomic mass is 27 u okay plus f e 2 so 2 are there so 2 into 
Fe it is 56. Okay, U. And here another oxygen is there. Plus 3 into 3 atoms are there. So 3 into oxygen it is 16 U. Okay, gives rise to here it is Al2 that is 2 into 27 plus 3 into 16 plus 2 into Fe is 56 U. Is it clear? Now, 2 into 27 it is nothing but 54 U plus 56 into 12. So, 2 6 are 12. So, it will be 1 12 U plus 3 16 into 3. So, it is 48 U. Okay. Gives rise to here. It is 27 into 2. So, 2 7 the 14. So, it will be 54 U plus it is 48 U plus 2 into 56. That is 1 to 12 U. Okay. By multiplying these, that means we have written the atomic masses. So, now multiplying this, you will get 54 U plus here it is a compound. So, 1 to 12 plus 48 U gives rise to here it is compound. So, it will be in brackets and it is. Okay. So, now this is 54 U plus add these two. Why? Because it is a single compound. Okay. So, 1 to 12 plus it will be 160 U gives rise to here it is 54 plus 48. That means it will be 102 units plus 1 to 12 U. That is I can represent the mass of each and every reactant and product in unified masses. So now aluminium is 54 unified masses is reacting with 160 unified masses of Fe2O3 to give rise to 102 unified masses of Al2O3 plus 1 to 12 unified mass of iron. So we have found out like this. Next is asking us. So what he is asking us if 54 grams of aluminium is giving us 112 grams of iron. That means see here it is Al. Okay. And here it is iron. So if I use 54 grams of iron, aluminium to get 112 grams of iron. So how much I should use if I want to get 1120 kgs of iron. Is it clear? So, I will write the question for your understanding. Now, he is asking us to find out, see, calculate the amount of aluminium required to get 1120 kgs of iron by a above, by above reaction. So, till now we have discussed that 2 Al plus Fe2O3 gives rise to Al2O3 plus 2 Fe. And we have also calculated, calculated the unified mass of reactants and products. So, now, so, from this equation, see, I represented the mass in unified masses. If you want to represent the mass in grams also, you can represent it. Then, you need to represent it as G. Is it clear? Instead of unified mass, you will represent it with G. And if you want molar mass, then you can represent it with M. Okay. So, for this, because it is given in kilograms, I am representing it grams. Okay. So, from this equation, what I can get that 54 grams of aluminium is giving how much grams? 11 to 12 grams of iron. Is it clear? So, in the question, what he is asking? He is ask, asking us, I need to get 1120 kgs of iron. So, how much aluminium I should use? Is it clear? So, he is asking us this. So, how to find out this? So, in your simple maths you will have how to cross multiply it. Is it clear? So, now consider this as x. Okay. So, consider this as x. We don't know how much of aluminium we are using. So, consider it as x. Now, 1 12 into x equal to 1120 kgs into 54 grams. So, I need to convert into grams. So, already we know 1 kg equal to 
thousand grams. Okay, so I will place it in that. So now what happens? This will be one twelve x equal to eleven twenty into thousand grams. That means I am converting the kg into grams into fifty four. Now if I want to find out the x, how I will write? So now I will take this multiplication this side. So it becomes denominator. So x equal to eleven twenty into thousand into fifty four divided by one to twelve. Is it clear? So one to twelve ones are one to twelve tens are. So it will be what five forty into thousand. So that means here y is given as either in kgs. So I am not converting this into kg. So yeah, the thousand indicates kg. So I can write it as five forty kgs. Is it clear? So now x value will be five forty kgs. So what we are asked is to find out mass of calculate the amount of aluminium. So this is the amount of aluminium needed to get eleven twenty kgs of iron. Is it clear? So this is how we will find the problems given on the equations. So this is a mass-mass relationship. That means here he has given us mass and he is also asking us to find out the mass. You see another problem given on the equations. So in the before problem we have seen mass-mass relationship. Now he is asking us to find out see calculate the volume, mass. And number of molecules of hydrogen. That means mass, volume, number of molecules relationship. Is it clear? So what he is saying of hydrogen liberated when 230 grams of sodium reacts with excess of water at STP, that is standard temperature and pressure. So he has also given us the atomic masses. So in this equation, he has given us sodium reacts with Excess of water, so sodium plus water. So what he is giving? He is saying that when hydrogen is liberated, so sodium plus water. So what it forms? Sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen gas will be released. From this equation, from this reaction, I can write it as sodium plus oxygen gives rise to sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen. So first, I need to find the masses. Is it clear? Two into two thirty by 
46. Is it clear? So 23 ones are 23 twos are. 2 ones are 2 ones are. Is it clear? So x equal to how much I have got it? As 10 grams. So by using 230 grams of sodium mixed with water, how much of hydrogen is released? That is 10 grams of hydrogen gas is evolved. So this is the first thing. That is mass I have found out.